Hello my friends, today we are going to farms in several states like Texas, Montana, Nebraska and Kansas in the United States to see how the process of raising millions of cattle is done throughout the year. According to statistics, in 2021, in the United States there are about 700,000 cattle ranches and the area of land that is used for cattle grazing across the country is about 614 million acres, accounting for around 27% of the country's total land area. Cattle are said to have appeared on the grasslands of the United States in the 40s of the last century. By the 80s, some people in Texas had gathered hundreds of cattle and created the first cattle ranches in the southwest regions of the United States. When the first cattle ranches were established, the longhorn breed was said to be the most numerous, followed by the Angus and Hereford. To this day, due to the rapidly increasing demand for beef, the number of cattle ranches in the United States has increased many times since the 1980s. Currently, there are about 35.8 million calves born each year in the country, and up to 30% of them are born on farms in Texas. The first three months of the year are usually the breeding season for cows. This is the busiest period for cattle breeders. After about a week, the calves will follow their mothers to forage in the vast grasslands. At this stage, breeders do not allow their herd to move too far from their farm to ensure the health of the newborn calves. In the early reproductive stage, breeders often add some custom forage to the herd's diet, such as corn, oats or barley. Besides Texas, Nevada and Kansas are also the states with the largest acreage of grasslands used for grazing. When most calves reach two months old, they will need to be branded. Branding is the primary method of permanently identifying and providing a rancher's ownership of his livestock. This is especially important in the Western United States, where cattle from multiple ranches are run together or on bordering pastures. Dozens of calves at this farm are being herded into a fenced in area. Here, the cowboys will conduct branding on them. Although these calves are only two months old, it is difficult for an adult to hold them tightly. Therefore, branding of calves requires a combination of three to four people. These cowboys will use a hot iron rod and stick it on the of the calves, which causes them to burn and creates permanent scars on their bodies. This is a traditional method of branding and makes it very painful for the calves. However, many cattle ranchers still prefer to use this method. After the branding process is complete, the herd continues to be set free to feed upon the pasture. Looking at the calves, their health is barely affected by branding. In early April, when spring is over and the calves are more mature, herdsmen will move their herds to new pastures away from their farms. The thing they bring with them on their long trip are horses, food, tents and camping gear. The herd will also be moved to new pastures by some other cowboys. With a herd of about a thousand cows, cowboys need to move them to pasture about 20 to 30 miles from their current home. 
cattle driving is not an easy job. Only cowboys with long-term cattle grazing experience are assigned this task, and helping them are experienced herding dogs. Today, the nation's largest herd belongs to the Wagoner Ranch in Texas, with about 6,800 cattle grazing on more than 500,000 acres. Cattle are considered fully mature when they reach 30 to 42 months of age. At that time, their average weight is about 1,100 to 1,300 pounds. Each day, an adult cattle needs to eat an amount equivalent to about 3% of their body weight. In the United States, grazing large herds also significantly reduces wildfires in the dry season. The presence of thousands of cattle helps to keep the height of the weeds under control. At night, grazing areas are often a favorite feeding spots for thousands of coyotes. According to a USDA report, each year about 90 to 120,000 cattle across the country are killed by predators, mainly coyotes. This is a process of moving a herd in Montana. It is not uncommon to encounter a large herd of cattle moving in the middle of the highway. If you are a driver and come across this scene, all your complaints are in vain because these cattle always move so leisurely. Each year from October to December is the time when many cattle auctions take place in Oklahoma. These trucks will go to the farm, transport thousands of cattle to the auction site. Each of these trucks usually carries between 28 and 30 cows. According to statistics, each year about 39 million cattle and calves are slaughtered across the country. After the cattle are transported to the auction site, they will be kept in these barns and wait for their turn to bid. This cattle market can hold auctions for 7,000 cattle every day. This is what happens in an auction. Did you hear and understand what the auctioneer said? Currently, the price of cattle depends on many factors, such as their weight, breed, and origin. On average, each adult cattle, weighing about 1,100 pounds, will cost between $200 and $300. By 2022, it is expected that livestock sales in the United States will be about $73 billion, accounting for 17% of the total sales of agricultural commodities. After the auction is over, thousands of cattle will be shipped to the beef processing plant. This is also the last trip of their lives. Hello everyone. Today we are going to sheep farms in the United States to see how millions of sheep here are raised. According to statistics, in 2021, in the United States, there are 100,000 sheep farms with more than 5 million heads. Currently, up to 80% of sheep in the United States are raised on large-scale farms. Most large-scale sheep farms are concentrated in states like Texas, California, and Colorado. 
This is different from sheep in other countries like China, Australia or New Zealand. The majority of sheep are raised in the United States for the purpose of meat, with the number of sheep raised for wool in the country only about 17%. Every year in the United States, about 1.7 million sheep are born, and up to 37% of them are born in Texas and California. On average, each ewe gives birth to two to three young. Newborn lambs usually weigh eight to 12 pounds, and they will live with their mother for nine weeks before weaning. These are lambs with health problems. They are separated by breeders for medical monitoring. This is a sheep breeding farm in California with more than 700 ewes. Every year on this farm, about 1,500 lambs are born. These lambs will stay here for two months before being moved to graze in other agricultural lands. Currently in California, there are about 9,300 sheep farms with the number of about 557,000 heads, accounting for 10% of the country's sheep population. According to the census in 2021, the total number of sheep slaughtered in California is 222,800 heads and lamb production is 13.6 million pounds. These workers are cutting sheep's tails. Sheep tailing or docking is usually done when the sheep reach about two weeks of age. Trimming the sheep's tails is an important job on farms this helps prevent flies and parasites from attacking the anal area of the sheep. In addition, this also helps the mating process later to bring better efficiency. These are two month old sheep on a ranch in Idaho and they have just undergone tail cutting. Currently in Idaho, there are about 4,000 sheep farms, with a total number of 248,000 sheep, accounting for 4.8% of the country's sheep population. This is a sheep farm in Colorado, and this breed is called Suffolk. All sheep on this farm are raised for the purpose of meat. Every year on this farm, about 1,300 sheep are born. According to statistics in 2020, in Colorado, there are about 6,100 sheep farms, and the number is around 368,000 heads, accounting for 7.8% of the sheep population of the country. Lambs are considered sexually mature when they reach six to eight months of age, at which point their weight ranges from 66 to 83 pounds. At this farm, the food used for sheep is mainly corn, hay, and the breeding sheep will be fed with grain. On average, each sheep will need to eat 3% of its body weight per day. This is the process of removing hair from the anal region of adult sheep. Even though these sheep have had their tails cut, their thick anal hairs are still ideal habitats for parasites and flies. This is a herd of sheep in Texas, and they are being brought to the pastures to feed freely.
Currently, Texas is the state with the largest number of sheep in the United States, with about 747,000 heads, accounting for 14% of the country's sheep population. Like the cattle herds in Texas, the sheep here are also regularly moved from pasture to pasture to feed. Annually, the number of sheep slaughtered in Texas is about 306,000 heads, and the state's lamb production is about 19 million pounds. The grazing of thousands of sheep in Texas is also aided by these sheepdogs, which help rangers protect sheep from attack by coyotes. This is the sheep bathing process. The adult sheep will be bathed every two weeks. This helps protect them from attack by lice and other parasites. This is the last trip of the sheep. This period from 8 to 10 months old is when thousands of sheep are transferred to lamb processing plants. At this plant, sheep are anaesthetized using an electric current before slaughter can begin. Annually, in the United States, between 2.2 and 2.3 million sheep are slaughtered, and the average annual production of lamb is about 137 million pounds. On average, each American consumes five pounds of lamb per year. In addition to the amount of lamb produced domestically, the United States also imports most of its lamb meat from Australia and New Zealand. 